Alrighty. I think it's like 3.30. We have Bob. Say hi to Bob. <laughs> oh, that just amuses me so much. Okay, so Bob is here to inspire us. Got my dirty palette. Oh, I just messed with you guys, didn't I? Um, here's my drawing on here. Transferred is the original. So, yep. So, let me uh, get you guys settled to where you're going to be. I have a, it's like, almost like a baker's rack type thing that I'm using, oops, to kind of, uh, oh, craptastic. It's sticking. There we go. Need to move this over a little bit. Get it out of my freaking way. Alright. Alright, cool. Sweet. Alright. So here we go. Alright, let's see. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Hello. <laughs> Hi Carrie. Ooh. I'm using the same dirty water I was using yesterday. Screw it. All right. Here we go. Welcome to all my fancy friends. All right. I could lie and say I'm not wearing pants, but I am. All right. Let's see. So, we have... We have a happy little crab here, and I didn't mean to say that, but here we go. Happy, happy trees, and uh, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna do our thing. All right. So I suppose the best way to do it is to just do it. <laughs> need to mix up some shadow color so have the hiccups just water oh and another thing I should do let's wet the palette it sounds like a cooking show wet the palette Do I care that there's anything else on there? Honestly, no, I don't. I don't give a crap. Alright, it's all gonna mush together anyways. And we're gonna make something pretty. Maybe. This is Payne's Gray. Um, I had yellow ochre and some orange on the on here already. That's okay. Um, this is burnt sienna. Muddy it up a little bit. Make it look like crap, like I look in the morning. Um, it's Antwerp blue. It's one of my favorites. Can't remember what blue. It's just another blue. They're all ever so slightly different. Ooh, my phone's bubbling away. Um, I want the shadows to be cold. Nice, cool shadows. No warm shadows today. We're going to do cool shadows. And I want them to drop back. And I want it to really, like... I want this one to pop. 
You'll, you'll get it eventually. If it doesn't pop, well, maybe my head will. So. Alright, need a little more black. Pain's gray, sorry. And then muddy that crap up. Alright, good enough. Alrighty, so best way to start off a painting I would say is to uh, add the shadows in. Um, you know, it really will delineate everything for you. And as I said yesterday, for those of you who didn't join, because um, I didn't really say I was going to do it and I just kind of did. Um, essentially, oops. when you're doing something like this, um, all shadows should be the same. So you mix up your shadow color and you're going to use it for the entire painting. You don't want, you know, the crab to have one color shadow and the, um, you know, his actual shadow to be a different color, you know, and then like the shadows on the board on the boardwalk you don't want that different um, if you think about it like it's all the same light source so it should all look the same so you should always have one cohesive color that you're going to use for all your shadows um, if I was doing a still life with like apples and oranges and cucumbers I'm not going to have a different shadow color for each item you're going to use the same exact shadow color for all of them because it's the same light source. It would be either the sun or you have a light that's on it. So no matter what you do, um, you're going to have the same shadow. Um, and it's kind of like when you walk down the street and if you're walking, you know, social distancing style, then... Um, Obviously, you know, you each have your individual shadows, but if you came close together and your shadows merged, they're not going to be distinct. You can't tell where your shadow ends and somebody else's shadow begins. So that that's my lesson for today about shadows. Shadows should always be the same color. So no matter what. Okie dokie. All right. Glad we got that out of the way. All right. So. For all of you people that were sitting there going, is she going to shut up and paint? Yeah. Yeah, it does happen. So essentially, I just paint the area with water. It's got a little color to it, seeing as I just mixed everything. Yep, that's great. Check your source, so that way, when you're painting, you don't want to be like, painting something and be like, uh, yeah, um, this was supposed to be something else and looks silly you know you don't want to forget what you're painting how's that it's like you know make sure that you know when you've drawn it out you've marked out where the shadows are and things like that um and then check check your your photo you know just because you think you know what you're doing doesn't mean you do Kind of like when you do a self-portrait or whatever. You know, just because you know what your face looks like doesn't mean you don't need you don't need a mirror when you're doing a self-portrait. Always check your source. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Do do do. 
sound like a grumpy old bitch today. All right. Hey, Lucy. There she girl. Lucy is deciding she wants to be part of this today. She's gonna hang out while I paint. Sounds like a plan. I'm gonna start dropping in some color. Oh, actually, <laughs> my bad. Just kidding. There's a gap between the wood. So, like I said, that has to have the same shadow color as everything else. So, I will darken it later. But right now, I just need to delineate where it is. All right. Oops. Brush still has sizing on it. And I don't like that brush because it... You flick it. If you wet it and it flicks and it doesn't... It doesn't really come to a point. It's kind of like... Yeah. Don't like that brush. That, that's going back. All right. So... So I have this brush... All right, flick that thing and you get a nice point. That's, that's what you want. You don't want it like, you know, being crappy like this thing. Like, here's a brush that's, <laughs> yeah, let's just talk about it. That's crap. See that? Yeah. That's not a good brush. That's why it was like, what, like 99 cents for like five of them. Yeah. Get yourself a good brush. It doesn't have to be expensive. This thing wasn't that expensive. I bought it in a set, so. Um, so, you know, essentially you want to buy brushes that, you know, when you, when you flick them or whatever, you know, you wet it down. And, like, this was a cheap-ass brush, okay? But when I flick it, I get a nice point, all right? So it doesn't have to cost you a million dollars. You just, you need to, like, test them a little bit. Sometimes, you know, you buy a brush and you think it's going to be good because they they put sizing in it. And, you know, it, it it'll look in the package like it's got a nice point. Um, and then you get it home and you end up with this floppy little mop thing and you're going, what the hell was that? Yeah. All right. This is starting to dry because I'm talking too much. All right. Now what I said yesterday is like you can see where you wet it by tilting the paper and stuff. It's a good way to go. Um, it's how you, uh, how you can see whether or not your, um, your paper's still wet. It gets a glazed look. And that's what you want. Okay. Do, do, do. I have a bad habit of singing to myself. Actually, it's not really singing. It's kind of just, I don't know. No one wants to hear me sing. Trust me. All right, let's see. I need a smaller brush. So my mom can laugh at me and say, are you painting with your brush? Yes, I am, Mom. I know she's watching. She said she would. All right. Not liking that. 
Okay. I am picky today. Holy crap. Who knew? It would happen eventually. All right. Better brush. Here we go. I just don't want to screw it up. You know what I mean? Because this is a pain in the butt to draw. I actually want more blue in it. I want more blue in my shadows. Alright. That was cerulean blue. Cools it down. Makes it, makes it, uh, drop back so that, like, you will see your, um, warm colors pop forward. And Krabby Patty here. We need him to pop. Not for reals, because that would be messy. My dogs are kind of looking at me like, who the fuck are you talking to? Sorry. Can I just tell you I've been dreading this painting? Why? Because I've tried it once before. I got frustrated and said, screw it. And here I am using it as a lesson. Because I'm an idiot. Apparently, I like to torture myself. Why not, right? Sorry, I'm quiet because I'm thinking. I'm trying not to screw it up. Because it doesn't matter how good you are, it doesn't mean you can't mess it up. And yes, we color outside the lines because when you frame it, you can't always guarantee that your mat is going to fit properly because even though it says one size, it doesn't mean it's not going to be like a quarter inch off. So I try to extend it a little bit because I can't tell you how many times I've tried to frame stuff and... You have your size, you measured, and you did all the stuff right, and yep, you come back, and the stupid thing doesn't fit. Last thing you want is like all white edges showing. Just makes it look like you were an idiot and you didn't measure. But it's not you, it's the fact that the manufacturers now skimp. So it might be just a quarter inch to them, but when you're doing your painting and stuff, it makes a big difference.
can tell that dried. Oops. goes off to Never Never Land. Alright. Now, I'm noticing there's some cracks in the wood. And those cracks are going to go through the shadow because, well, let's face it, it's all the same shadow, right? We went through this. Alright. Straight enough. Alright. This is where it gets confusing. It looks like half of it looks like it's part of the crab, but it's not. It's all his shadows. Say hi, Krabby Patty. Look, we tickle his tummy. What? Yep, screwed up. Alrighty. Screwed up right there. Alright. See? Does happen. Everybody screws up. It's just a question of whether or not you catch it fast enough. Then if you didn't, well, there's ways of fixing it. here till that other part dries because yeah that was my bad but like I said nobody's perfect right my thing is if you screw up and you know it's like you couldn't fix it or whatever or you couldn't figure out how yeah. The fact is, nobody knows what your your original photo looked like. You can just fudge it. You're like, oh, it's supposed to look like that. Really? I did it again. Just did it again. God damn. All right. So I get to show you like how to how to fix it. All right. So right here. what they call negative space. And it can be a lot of it. Let's put it that way. Do do do. Alrighty. So I'm just taking water, adding it. Removing it from where I put it. Because I was an idiot. And I painted the wrong spot. Like I said, I have a reference photo, but there's a lot of legs here. <laughs> Let's admit. And so, yeah, it gets confusing. Where's the legs? And where's the damn shadow? And my mom wonders why I wanted to give up on this stupid painting. I know. That was really negative, I'm sorry. But, it's irritating as all freaking get out. So there you go. Being honest. All right, here's this damn leg shadow. Let 
I'm not Bob Ross. I can't make that one into a happy tree. We're going to be layering on top of this, so it doesn't matter I screwed up because it will get hidden. Alrighty, here we go. We have the correct shadow this time. Oh god, I almost did it again. My own worst enemy, I swear to god. There we go. I'm making the shadow deeper and darker the closer to the crab it gets. This is like, this is the area where if you, if some of it dries before the other sections dry, you'll get um, what I like to call crispy edges. You know, kind of like a coffee stain on a tabletop. It gets a little funky. enough. Alrighty. Now, we're going to take a look at the Mr. Krabby and figure out if there's areas on him that I can do shadows because, well, might as well, seeing as we're all doing all shadows right now. Excuse me. <coughs> Alright. That was my mating call in case anybody was wondering. All right, let's see. Uh, yep, we're going to be doing some drawing on the painting. So, my mom will be proud. All right, I can't no 
ultra picky on the brushes. I need some tiny brushes. This might come in handy. Aha. Here we go. That crap brush can go in the crapper. Alright. So we're going to do some shadows on Krabby Patty. I don't know why I'm calling him that. It's just fun. Alright. See what I mean about, like, you can buy a nice brush. Look at this crap. Sit it in water for like an hour doing a painting, and all the damn paint chips off. This is not a cheap brush. Sometimes the tinier the brush, the more expensive it can be. And here you are, you got a nice watercolor brush, all the paint chipped off of it. Nothing pisses me off more. It's irritating as all get out. Alright, here you go, Poochie. Right. Here we go. So, hope everybody's having fun. Do do do. Alright, so, we have a shadow. I like, kind of drew it in. Like, right here's the highlight. So, I kind of want to leave that just blank. Because once you kill the white on a watercolor, you killed it. Thankfully, this doesn't have to be white. Um, so it was kind of okay that I screwed it up there. But if I screwed up here, once you, once you tint the paper, like, you know, that's kind of it. Um, there's only so much scrubbing out you can do. And sometimes, you know, it just... You get, you hit the point of no return, and you just don't want to go there. Alright, so you make sure, I realize it's all the same crab, but it's kind of like the flower. Just because it's all the same flower doesn't mean I want to wet the whole thing at once. So, now I am aware then I'm going to hit a wet spot. <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. Um, so, but that's okay, because it's all shadow color and it's fine. See? Just as long as I don't kill the highlight on that piece, it'll be fine. thing out of the way. Can you see this okay? I hope you can see it. Alright. So. size up. Here we go. Ah yes. More chipping paint. Gotta love it. Jerks. They could make these better. I mean they cost an arm and a leg. So honestly, I mean it's cumulative over time. Like, you know, you're always kind of replacing brushes because the tips get funky and, you know, the older it gets and the more you've used it, you can kill a brush. So, 
So, right there. Okay. Remember, I am not perfect. I do screw up quite a bit. I'm just trying not to make it as bad. There's a little shadow over here. I know it looks like a painting on nothing. the um, crack in the boards, in case anybody's wondering what that is. So the shadow is made way more intense there. So even though you're using the same shadow color, it will have different intensities and things like that but it's always the same color so no matter what um, I'm always using the same shadow color throughout and I'm just trying to be careful as to like you know where something starts where it ends um, try not to kill it because you can you know, sometimes you don't mean to, but it happens. It happens to the best of us. So as you put the shadows in, you start to really get to see what the crab really looks like.
In case anybody wanted to know, it's a Chesapeake Bay blue crab. Always when you're doing a painting, oh, paint chips, um, make sure to make enough shadow color so you can do the entire painting, okay? Because you don't want to run out and have to make new, because then your shadows won't match, okay? That's kind of important. That is okay, I'm not gonna panic. Thankfully, this is all shadow. everybody's doing okay. Hope not too many of you have gotten sick, considering such a weird time. looks okay. I don't know. Sometimes when you're too close to it and you know if it's somebody else's painting you're sitting there going oh well how did they not see that? That was a big screw up. Um, but you kind of can't help it. It's like you're too close to it. You get sort of
stuck in your own head. That's why it's always good to have somebody like spot checking you and stuff. All these weird little nooks and crannies. Mr. Mr. Krabby. Oh. Trying. It's got like an antenna thing, but I think I may just go in over it later. With a lighter color. God forbid, use Chinese white. It's like considered a no no, but sometimes, sometimes you just, you just got. Usually you just use the white of the paper to delineate highlights and stuff like that, but sometimes it's just, just doesn't work. Alright, so that's kind of dark over here. Just saw that. Screwed that up. You'll notice, like, you make you make little errors here and there, and you go, "Ah, oh, crap!" But um, honestly, you're probably the only one that will see it. Most people will look at it and be like, "Oh, that's so cool," you know. And you're sitting there going, "Yeah, but I messed up this and I messed up that." They don't see it. You do. Because we're our, our own worst critics. Well, I'm sure the crap the cat sees it. My Uncle Arthur would see it. When you live with perfectionists and they're artists too, they will see it. You're know, like, crap. Do you guys have to notice everything? Yes. Yes, they do. Because it is their job to let you know it, that you messed up. Like, oh, really? Remember, it's watercolor. Make sure to put water on your brush kind of important. Did I agree to this? Why? Because I'm nuts. It's 
So as you can see, the more you do shadows, oops, kick the dog by accident, the more you do the shadows, the more you will see, like, the, the, the crab starts to, like, come alive, so to speak. Um, you know, they, you can start seeing the, the, um, the whole body and everything, and it, it looks, it starts to, like, you know, look more realistic. Ish. Because I know I am not photo real. Like, my paintings are not. Like, there are people, um, that can really just, they can paint something and make it look like it's going to crawl off the page. I'm not that person. I'm okay with that. You know, some people got it, I don't, and I'm okay with that, you know. You gotta, like, go within your abilities and stuff, you know. But it doesn't mean you can't shoot for it and see how well it comes out, you know. Just try it, you know. I've seen, like, some people who they said they had no talent, and I was like, oh, just try and they were some of my best students because I did teach, um, I taught nights for watercolor classes and stuff. And it was cool because, you know, you see somebody try something that you wouldn't have done, you know, because you were taught, oh no, that's not, that's not how it's done. Or somebody told you along the way, oh, we don't do that. And... You know, and then you see somebody who has no training or whatever, and, you know, it's their first time, and they try something you wouldn't have tried. And you're sitting there going, damn, that looks really cool. I wish I had, like, you know, had the balls to do it. And sometimes you just learn from people who aren't afraid because they don't know any better. You know, they've never done it, so they're more likely to try something you might not try. And that's the beauty of it because, you know, when it comes to art, you it's not like you can ever really know everything about something. You know, I'm sure there's some people that will say that's crap, but um, I honestly feel that there's always something to learn. You know, and it's one of those things where, um, you know, if you don't do it, you will lose it. You know, you, there is that risk that you take if you aren't painting or whatever that, you know, oh yeah, I, I can pick it up at any time. No, you can't. Uh-uh. It doesn't work that way. If you don't use it, then you can lose it. And I've been through that. It wasn't fun. Where I went to a class, I finally decided, oh, well, you know, I'll, I'll get m myself back into watercolors and stuff and... You know, it was just class to, like, screw around and, you know, have something to do. And, um, yeah, I, I bawled my eyes out because I realized that I had been away from painting for so long at that point that I didn't know what I was doing. And it wasn't coming as easily as it normally did, and I got wicked frustrated. So, yeah, if you don't use it, you will lose it. So. It's just, it's kind of, it was a good lesson for me to learn that, you know, just because I have talent doesn't mean it can't go away. Okay. I got lucky. You know, um, you know, some people are like, oh my god, how did you do that? And I'm like, I have no idea. It's just something I have. It's something, you know, I was able to do since I was a kid. And it just came easy to me. And I'm lucky. Like, 
There are people that they can't do that. Doesn't mean they have no talent. It's just they didn't try or they didn't, they have a different ability. You know, but I always say like, you know, you may not realize you have it, but you do. You know, and give it a shot. What the heck? Like, and if somebody is like sitting there telling you, oh, well, well, that looks stupid or whatever. And I've heard people, there was a guy that was in one of my classes, his wife and his daughter made fun of him for taking my class. You know, he was a mechanic and he did his thing and he was one of my best students. And he really, really had some beautiful work that he created. And, but he got no support at home. And it's like, honestly, do you want to be that person? You know, like if somebody's trying, you know, give them support. Don't tell them that they can't do it. Ash, Ruby. So this is like, this is the thing. If you get all the shadows in, the rest is a cakewalk. Sort of. You still have to have a clue what you're doing. Always figure out where your light source is, okay? So if you notice, the light's coming from over here. So, all right, so bashing him off the head. You know, Mr. Mr. Krabby Pants, he's got all the light over here. So all the shadows come this way. So you always have the shadows on this side. So as you see, like I don't have any shadows over here because there's a highlight there. Um, I didn't paint here because there was a bright highlight there. There's a highlight along the top of his claw there. And also, you put the darkness behind so that you can see the light. Um, I don't know how to explain that other, otherwise. Um, and, you know, the colors are going to delineate what he looks like and stuff like that. But you really, the shadows are really what make it. You know, if you if you do the shadows good, then the rest is going to really come, you know, and it'll look good. And it, it's just going to do its thing. Your crab will crawl off the page. Maybe you don't want crabs. Not all of us do not always a good thing. You need medication for it. But hey, some people like that. Like I said before, there's there's different intensities. Like some areas there's lighter shadows, some areas there's darker. It depends on where the light is hitting. There's actually more shadow right here. Just a little highlight there. Because he's getting a lot of a lot of shadow is coming from this claw here. So it's 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 over these two legs, so I actually need to darken them quite a bit. They're not going to be obviously as dark as the background, but close.
Don't eliminate all your sha your um, white stuff. I hope this all makes sense. I don't know. I'm rambling. It is what it is. Just grabbing the paper a little bit. I can see that, so it's just it's bothering me. Um, I know a mat's going to cover it, but I don't know. It's just it's bugging the crap out of me. It's a weird thing. OCD. I don't know. I have to be careful not to fuck it up. Alright. This right here needs to be the darkest. Now this is another reason why you get really good paper. This is uh, Arches 140 pound. 140. It's 300 pound. So like strong enough to build your house with um and the reason why I choose it is so that I can just keep on going and layer on top of layer and it's not gonna affect it like you can just keep on keeping on and uh so I can keep adding those layers, making certain areas more intense, and the paper will take it. You know, if you don't have the right paper, it'll lift off the bottom layers, and that's a pain in the butt. Like, you can see that it's not lifting anything. Like, those layers underneath are permanent. You know, unless I scrub them off. And that was stupid. Got too close to it. So. Dry that off. There. Because I need that more of a crisp edge. So you guys get to see me screw up. It does happen. A lot more than people realize. I can admit it. The question is whether or not you know how to fix it when you screw it up. I like these little brushes because you can really get in there and do some stuff. Make it look interesting. Quiet. What's your problem, huh? What's your problem? Quick. 
Quit your bitching. You got nothing to complain about. It's not dinner time. No. You'll see areas like you keep going into it and you're like oh this needs to be a little darker here and what I do is like I'll add the, the dark color and then I go back into it with a little bit of water to um, fade it So I think we got it pretty well situated. All right, now I'm gonna add some color. I'm gonna give it a second. Do a good once over, figure out you got all the shadows in there. I mean you can still add them. That's that's not a a thing. I'll be honest with if you if you're texting me or whatever, probably can't see it because it's above me. So I apologize if you have questions and I haven't answered anything. I apologize. I realized I forgot to, I neglected to put the little bumpies on. Looks naughty. What? a little better. Anybody getting annoyed with my monochromatics? Too bad. <laughs> it's my painting. I'll do what I want. Weird little face he's got. He's got little furries.
You'll understand why I'm being so picky about this. Kind of have to. If you don't have the shadows right, the rest just doesn't pop. So, I'm just trying to make sure I got it. Kind of, sort of, maybe. I think that's as good as it gets for now. Alrighty. So. I can add some color. Ooh, I moved. Apparently everybody just freaked out. <sighs> Alright. This will do. And yeah, I eventually have almost every paintbrush in my water. It's a weird thing. did a thing where I kind of have everything wet. But this isn't. So I can do this. Lady, do you have to choose right now? Why now? Come on, do your thing. Alright. So what I'm doing is like, as I paint it, I lift the paper a little bit so I can see the shine of where where I've wet it and where I didn't. Okay. Alright. So here we go. He's a fairly warm red. A little rusty. So, let's have some fun. Get your nose out of here. So that was cadmium red and a little bit of um, burnt sienna. This is, I don't know, I think it's uh, Windsor yellow. Now the color should stay where you put it. 
you know, so as long as you just, you know, wetting one section at a time, um, that's where the color is going to go. It's not going to, it's not going to walk off and go into a different area and you end up with mud. Um, I try to make my, my watercolors tend to be kind of, um, controlled, so to speak, because I don't, I don't want it all over the place. I'm particular. So So I like I will wet one area at a time to get what I want. I'm not going to wet the highlight. I'm just going to wet everything else around it. Alright, now. I tend to use a tiny brush for um, dropping the color in because I'm anal. I like to know exactly where it's going to go. I'm very picky. I remember, always wet, it's never dry. So like when you're dropping in a color, don't dry brush that sucker in. You need to add um, some water to it because then it flows. If you don't have enough water, it's not gonna flow properly. Period, end of story. So as you can see, like the, the shadows will, they stay underneath, but you can still see where they are. He's got some cool color patterns. Let's see. Wow. Been at it for almost two hours and this is as far as I've gotten. probably not be able to finish this today because I'm sure you people got lots of other things to do. I'm not just sitting here watching me. I can't do that. Alright. Find a spot I can work in.
I'm using Antwerp blue because it's warm. Now when I'm coloring, I tend to color right where the shadows are and then let it fade. You don't want to high. You don't want to cover up your highlights and stuff. So it's better if you stick to where it's brightest or darkest, I should say. You know what I'm talking about, really. I do. If you added too much water, just dry your brush and then. It'll suck it right back up. Like using a mop. I hope I hope this helps. I don't know. I give you a kind of an idea of how you tackle something like this. So if you start to lose some of your whites, you go in, grab your paper towel, and dab it. It'll be good. A lot of color variations on this uh this little guy like each part of him is pretty uh complex he's not 
Not what you would call an easy subject. should probably come up with catch faces and stuff. Yeah, I don't have any happy trees. Nice when it works. When you do it and you get it just right. Bonus. Sometimes you just want to be able to see where you're painting. Sorry I'm not that chatty today. I don't know. Could be because of the subject of matter is a pain in the butt.
Really, buddy? What? Don't climb on me. I know. Not the time. Too bad. Not bad. It's getting there. Wonder how many people are bored out of their mind. Someone seriously, girlfriend, work faster. Sorry. Can't. Mr. Spawn. We have some fun yet. My dog is pacing. That's what she does.
coloring. It is, it is. Cool coloring. I noticed that he's got like some feathering here, so I couldn't really draw it in that great, but. Just kind of dragging the paint to create it. Oops. making sure you guys can actually see what I'm doing. I know it's not, I'm not saying much and I'm sorry. Um, just trying not to mess it up too many times. Because I know I can. I've already proven that point right in the beginning. So as each piece um, dries, I can go in and, and do a different section. So that's kind of what I'm doing is I'm moving my way around to all the areas that are not, um, not wet at the moment. Not that I can't like fudge it. And you can see, for the most part, in the areas that it's not super intense, the color below doesn't really lift. It lifts a little bit, but not, not as much as it would if you were using graph paper. Use scrap paper, you might as well just call it a day.
I'm sure some of you guys are like bored to death, I'm sorry. and don't add purple. It's one of those colors that's just so versatile. Kind of. Ooh, that looks good to you guys. Kind of have an idea. Here we go again, drawing with my brush. Sorry, Mom. <sighs> I always yelled at her for doing that. What am I doing? Drawing with my brush. For those of you who are bored to tears, I'm sorry. Never promised it was going to be exciting.
wanted it a little lighter there. That's all, in case anybody was wondering. This one doesn't look as intense as I want it to. So, I'll glaze it.
This is cadmium red. It's just using it as a glaze along with a little bit of, um, I think it's cadmium orange that I have here. And it warms it up so it brings it forward. It just seemed like it was like, I don't know, not intense enough or something. I don't know, something was wrong. And my dog is whining. Can't really do that. I hope you guys are getting some enjoyment out of this. I know watching me screw up a few times was funny. so annoying. This is the part that I don't like about watercolors is like you you have like something like in process but you can't touch anything until certain areas are dry and it's a pain in the butt. I mean the effect is wonderful but you know sometimes you just you just want to get on with things and you can't because it won't let you. In any case, anybody's wondering, yep, my dog has drank a lot. The constant. Yes, lady? I'm being stared at. I don't know if you guys, I probably, I don't think you can see them, but they're, my dogs are sitting right next to me, giving me this look like, why aren't you petting me right now?
cute. like dark spots on the certain areas The thing about it is you can't you can't like go gung ho. It's not like um, like acrylics or something where you know you can just kind of keep on painting. With um, watercolors, you kind of have to wait for it to be ready for you to do what you need to do because it it's touchy. It has its moments. I hope you guys understand why I don't spend time um, showing you my drawing techniques. Um, I figure I'd take so damn long just to paint it that, good lord, you'd be bored to tears. from your end. Not bad. Not bad. It's getting there. Let's see. It is quarter to six. We started this at 3.30. Um, I think at this point, I don't know if you guys want me to continue. Do you guys want me to continue? I'm going to move this. 
So, this is my view. So, so I hope I hope you you like get the idea of what I'm working on and um <laughs> my thank you for everybody that's saying that I'm doing an awesome job. Oh, you guys are awesome. Saying hello to everybody. I got Lauren and Linda and Melissa and Kathy and my sister Michelle and oh my goodness, Les. <laughs> You're watching. Holy crap. Um my friend Sarah, my mom. Brenda. Brenda was on there too. Love you. And Judith, and let's see, am I missing anybody? I think, oh, Cheryl, hi. Brenda, Mike is watching. I think I said Melissa and Carrie. Guys are awesome. Are you bored to tears yet? My goodness. So. So hopefully you guys are liking this, you know, and and we'll have to see what uh what does what does Bob have to say? <laughs> yep. Big old trees and everybody needs a friend. Alrighty. So, you know. I'm still waiting. I have to wait for this area to dry this whole this whole front claw um because it's because it's still wet. I can't touch anything because it's touching um it's touching this claw here and it's touching this unpainted area here. So I can't really touch it yet because if I do then I'll make mud pies. So, um, I really, I need to make sure that I don't do that. Um, once this section is dry, I can then go in and continue with this and I'll finish this area. Um, so, you know, just want to let everybody know what I'm doing and what my thoughts are and why, why I'm like not attacking certain areas. I can't really do it. Because the areas they're adjacent to are still wet. So, but, um, I'm glad that you guys, you know, have been on board and been watching me. This is awesome. It's, um, so nice to know that I have people that like this and are enjoying it. And, you know, seeing as you're, uh, stuck indoors. <laughs> You know, hopefully that some of you people will, um, try painting, you know, and if you need any pointers, you can ask me. I'm always happy to help. So anyways, just figured I'd say that. All right. So I'm going to move this back up and hopefully you can still see. All right. So. Bob has to move out of the way. All right. <sighs> Eventually, I'm gonna have to log off of this because, you know, let's 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 state facts. My bladder is only so big, and eventually, I am gonna have to pay.
glue. It's not drying very quickly, so right now, seeing as I can't do much, I'm going to let you guys go, um, and that way I'll, I'll finish the areas that need to be finished um, once everything dries, okay? So, thank you for watching, and I will see you for another show.